Welcome along to another video, I am That Cycling Chimp and in this one I've finally had enough. There's something that's been grinding my gears for quite some time now and I'm going to address it in today's video. It's a very common cycling problem that quite a lot of you guys that watch these videos and cycle will know exactly what it is. It's a decision I've not taken lightly. If you want to find out exactly what it is, it's grinding my gears. You're just going to have to stick around, grab a cuppa and let's get the show on the road. <laughs> First off, I just want to thank all you guys, especially my subscribers for watching these videos. We just hit another milestone of 400 subscribers which is absolutely incomprehensible for me and I can't thank you enough for hitting that subscribe button. You can hit the notification button as well for future videos that come up. But anyway, today's video, what is grinding my gears? Well a lot of you guys if you've been watching my videos, you've probably noticed that I've been suffering from something all winter and that is the dreaded puncture. I've went through countless amount of inner tubes in the last couple of weeks and I recently got myself a new bike which was the Merida Silex 400 and my second adventure out on it, I got a puncture. I didn't film any of that that day and it was actually a ruined day for me because I did have an adventure video all set up but I didn't think you guys would really want to see me sorting another puncture. I've been thinking about it for quite some time but I finally took the plunge and made the decision to go tubeless. According to the specs on my bike, my rims are tubeless and my tyres are tubeless ready. So I've done a lot of research online on how to do this and it looks like a relatively straightforward procedure. So I went on to Amazon to order some bits and bobs. The box came and I'm just about to open it to see what the contents are. So let's have a little look. So inside my box, once I take all the paper out, I got myself the Muckoff tubeless tyre setup. Now I chose this brand because I use quite a lot of Muckoff products. I'm in no way sponsored or affiliated by them whatsoever. I just use their products. Included in this is going to be some rim tape. It also comes with two pressed valves and it also comes with two pouches of sealant. Now one of my subscribers actually sent me a pouch of the muck off sealant so I've got an extra one there just in case I need it but I don't think I will. Purchased myself another roll of rim tape just in case but I was seeing that you could use Gorilla Tape or Tessa Tape which I'm going to investigate further because if this works with this bike I'm probably going to convert my other wheels on my Trek to tubeless as well. One of the other things I picked up as well that I'd seen and I quite like to look of was the little plugger kit that you can get and this is a PT's one. I've never used tubeless before so I'm not entirely sure if we need this or not need this but looking at the videos and the reviews that I've seen of the tubeless setup once you've got a puncture this is a life saving little thing that you need so yep picked one of them up too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly get changed and I'm probably going to put on the GoPro 11 on at my chest so it's a little bit easier to move about and I'm going to do the front wheel first just to see how we got on. So if you want to see if I succeed or fail, you're just going to need to stick around a bit longer. So as I say, I'm out and I'm going to do my front wheel first. The tools I'm going to use today are, I've got my torque wrench ready to go, which is using a 6mm hex key, and we've got the Muckoff tubeless setup, which is for XT and Trail, and it's actually for rims with the internal width of 23 to 25mm. And I'll also be using my track pump as well to try and seat the tyre. I'm also going to need my little tyre lever. I really like using one of these, which is a little kind of clip that goes into my brake. I know when you've got disc brakes, if you hit your brake lever, then you can essentially seize your brakes. So that stops the pads from touching when you've got your disc out. So let's get the front wheel off and see how we got on. I've got to make sure this is set to 10 newton meters because that's the required torque. As I said, we just pop this in and it clips in. And that is my brakes mark saved from seizing now. Now I'm going to deflate my inner tube completely and we'll get the tire off till we get a look inside. I want to get a look at the carcass as well, just to make sure that there's no debris inside it that's going to give us any issues. I've said many times, I love this little tire lever from True Tension, it just, it's a great bit of kit. So let's take the old inner tube out and we'll have a little look at the rim tape itself. Now according to the Merida website, it says that this is tubeless ready, but I'm not too sure about this rim tape. Let's get the box open and see what's inside the setup kit. That'll be the tubeless valves. 
That'll be the rim tape and two pouches of tubeless sealant. Pretty sure the idea is we'll get our valves and then we've got to find one of these little grommets. Let's have a little look and see. So one of these grommets should fit inside my tyre, which I think will be this little kind of square one. So, take the cap off. There's a little o-ring there too that I presume is going to keep everything all together. Yep, I definitely think that's going to give it the seal that it needs. So that looks as if it's plugged it and sealed it. So then the opposite side, put a little rubber grommet on. So the little rubber grommet's on like that. Even though those valves looked pretty long, I wish I'd got longer ones to be fair, because I don't know whether that's going to go on or not. One of the things I'm going to try is I'm going to see if this is long enough to go in, which I don't think it is. So the first thing I'm going to try is I'm going to try and see if I can seat it without the sealant, just to see, because I don't think these valves are long enough I've managed to get the tyre seated no problem, but I'm not too keen on the length of that valve. Now the valves that come with this are supposed to be 44mm, but I think I'm going to need to get longer ones, possibly 60mm. So it's back to Amazon to see if I can get a new set. A few minutes later. Always set up your local bike shop because I've always got things in stock and ready to go. Can't thank Baz anymore at ACS and Presswick for sorting out with us. So now we can go back home and get the tubeless set up done. Right, so the valves that Vaz has gave me are juice lubes. I've never heard of the brand before. If you have, let me know in the comments below. But now that we've got the stuff that we need to do, let's take two and let's get this set up because it's pretty straightforward now. So I need to take out the old valve, or I need to take out the new old valve. I need to take out the smaller valve is what I'm looking for. I'm actually quite gutted with that because the valves are quite good, but I will use them when I'm setting up a tubeless uh, setup for the trek because the rims are a little bit more shallower. But the good thing is, it's a relatively easy process now because it's just a case of taking the old valve out, which I think just nearly fell out there, and then we'll use these just lubes. So let's get these open and see what we've got here. They've got the near identical parts that we need, so. <coughs> Looks relatively straightforward. And you can see the biggest difference between the 44 and the 60 mil. So you get a little rubber seal inside your clip. So we find a hole. So the next bit we need to do is we need to attach the tyre until we've got a little bit down at the bottom. And we're going to use the Triple sealant and on the back of it it says shake pouch vigorously before use simply pour directly into your unseated tyre and ream it so let's have a little look inside it actually gives you how many mils that you need so for we're going to go for 75 mils which will be 60 which will be like a little bit more than that so I've got a funny feeling this might get a little bit messy now but we'll try it anyway so A little bit more than that. So that's roughly about 75 mils as it says. Come all the way around to the bottom just to reseat the tyre. It does get a little bit messy here. That's the tyre reseated. So we'll just spin that around about one revolution to get it round. And we'll start pumping it up. And the tyre pressure says it should go up to 60 psi tops. So let's get, let's see if we can get it going and get this seated. Okay, so just for reference. It's sitting at 62 psi. What I'm going to do now is 
I'm going to let that sit for a couple of hours just to see if the air pressure goes down or if we've done it correctly because the air pressure's at where it's supposed to be. Six and a half hours later. And I think I've already had a puncture because that looks like some of the sealant coming through. The air has come down by about 12 PSI and there's a tiny little hole inside my tyre. I get to use my plug tool straight away, but we'll try this out and see how we got on with this. So this looks pretty easy to use. We just take a plug. Onto the stem. Find the puncture and then we just basically Now that didn't go to plan. And then the Scottish rain started, which stopped me from filming outside anymore. I did manage to get a plug into that tyre, get the sealant in and inflate it and we've been okay so far. I would like to thank you all for watching today, even though it's been a bit of a semi-fail. I don't want anybody to be put off by converting to tubeless on their own. It's a relatively straightforward procedure and I managed to do the back wheel with no issues whatsoever. The only pieces of advice I will give is try and do it with either brand new tyres or relatively new tyres. Take your time putting your rim tape on and also make sure you get the right size of valves to begin with. That was a little bit of a stumbling block in my behalf. Let me know in the comments below if you've converted to tubeless or if you've been thinking about it. If you've got any questions about how easy the procedure is or if there's anything else you want to know about it, feel free to comment. If you liked today's video, give us a huge thumbs up and if you really liked it, consider hitting that subscribe and notification button because your subscribing keeps me and the channel riding. I hope to see you all in the next one, but in the meantime you can check out my last video here, which is the first look at my new gravel bike. Or you can check out previously on that cycling chimp down there, which are archived videos. I'm just waiting in a little bit of dry weather now to go out and road test this tubeless setup. Until the next time guys, bye for now.